For purposes, I'm just going to work kind of right into it. The main important thing I want you guys to see here is that we can apply the product rule, okay? Now, if we're gonna apply the product rule, we know the product rule, that's fairly simple. However, it might be helpful just to find the derivative of each of these separately because we know this derivative, that's easy, right? That's like your first function, f of x. This function, finding the derivative, is really not so easy, right? So let's go ahead and find this separately just to make sure we have this d over dx of secant of x squared plus x plus 1. We know that's going to be the chain rule. So what we're going to have to do is take the derivative of secant, which is secant of x tangent of x, plug in the g of x function, which is x squared plus 1 plus, or x squared plus x plus 1, and then multiply it by the derivative of the inside, which is 2x plus 1. So it's a lot. But let's go ahead and write it out. So that's going to be secant, well, just a reminder, d over dx of secant of x is equal to secant of x tangent of x, right? But remember, guys, in this example, we have to go ahead and write out, um, we have to plug in g of x. So this is going to be secant of x squared plus x plus 1 times tangent of x squared plus x plus 1, and then times the derivative of the inside function which let's just have a little fun with that, x squared plus x, oops, x squared plus x plus 1 is 2x plus 1. So we're going to multiply this again. And if you want to use parentheses, more parentheses you can. I'm going to use some brackets, times 2x plus 1. So derivative of x is easy. This is a very long derivative. But it's really the same thing as what we did last, you know, like the tangent of 6x, right? It's the same thing. I mean, I, could I have just done secant of x? What did we do last class? Did we do, we did tangent of x squared or cosine of x squared? What was the last problem we did? Last? No, last problem we just did. So we did tangent of x squared. The only difference is I'm just making, instead of x squared, I'm just using a little bit more difficult of an inside function. But the process is exactly the same. So now, if I want to be able to find the derivative here, first thing, I'm going to find the derivative of my first expression, which is just 1, times my second function, secant, oops, secant of x squared plus x plus 1, plus my first function, x, times the derivative of my second function, which I found separately to be secant of x squared plus 1. Or God, why do I keep on writing that? x squared plus 1 times tangent of x squared plus x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. You don't really need the brackets, but just to make sure you guys all have it. So that is your answer. And obviously, you don't need to write the 1 here. Um, and then technically, we could, if you guys notice this, we could also see that these are, um, we have a duplicate of the secant x squared. So just in case I. You could always also factor out a secant of x squared plus x plus 1. When you do that, you'd have 1 plus x. Oh, actually, and then we could multiply the x times that. So that'd be a 2x uh, cubed plus x times tangent of x squared plus x plus 1. What happened here? Now why is secant of x times, oh yeah, I factored that out, that's right, okay.